Okay, so what do you do when your temperature is reading negative 40 degrees like that on your BMW 528i? In this case, you have a 1997. So we're going to go ahead and see if we can find out what happened. Well, that didn't take too long. Under the car here, we see there's two wires and it's missing something. It means the sensor came off. So you're wondering, where am I at right now? Well, let me show you. I'll just wheel out. In this case, I'm on the passenger side up in the front here just under the wheel well and I'll put the light back on her there's the two wires again just hanging right there so what we want to do next is just test and make sure these really are the right wires so I'll just twist them together and then we'll check the temperature on the inside if they're the right ones then it'll jump up from negative 40 to positive 120 degrees so let's tighten them up won't take much all right we'll turn the key back on and it jumps right to 122 you see that? So we got the right one. So now what we'll do is go ahead and attach the uh, sensor uh, that you can buy. Sometimes you can buy an auto parts store. We might, sometimes you may have to order it. So let's go ahead and get to it. So now what we're going to do is just strip the wires. Actually, it's 14 gauge. I guess third time it's a charm. There we go. And do this other one. Make sure it's a little longer. Make that just a little bit longer there. There we go. in there just so it a little bit thicker okay and then one other thing that I did I'll do it again is the crush well not crush but just tighten up one of the other ends there just a little bit more so it fits snug on that little pin. I guess I did that one. I'll just tighten it a little bit more. So I got those two right there. Let me see if I can put the light on so you can see a little bit better. Uh, I guess the flashlight won't come on. Let me see if I can move the light more so you can see inside the temperature sensor. So here's the temperature sensor. And inside, let me see if I can pick it up so you can see a little bit better. There we go. So you can see there's two pins right inside that hole. So what we'll do is we'll slide the two that we just crimped on there because I didn't have a plug to go with it. And then uh, what we'll do is tape it up. Okay, and that's what it looks like. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tape up all around the bottom here and then through so that way no water uh, gets through. And I'll cut, uh, you know, probably right back, back here and then just uh, crimp it onto the uh, two wires that were hanging down. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and just connect the sensor. I've already taped up most of it. I had to let the tape on there, so I just keep rolling it up. And I put the wire uh, connectors on there. Some people, I saw uh, one video of somebody soldered it. Uh, you can do that too. There's nothing wrong with that. It gives you a good connection as well. Um, the catch though is... Uh, he used shrink wrap and then was able to protect it from the elements. All I'm going to do is use black tape. I think that'll be uh, good enough because the main thing is where are you going to, this had a mosquito try to get me, where are you going to mount this thing so that when your youngest son drives the vehicle, will he rip this off again? Like what I assume happened, he must have run over something 
because the car was too low or maybe I don't know you know what kids do to cars so those two are all crimped up so what we'll do is we'll do a quick test and uh, make sure that uh, it's reading the right temperature let's go back to the car okay moment of truth here we go look at that 83 degrees works perfectly so uh, on that note I'm gonna go ahead and mount this up really high uh, well not too high but high enough so that if my son runs over anything in this car then he won't rip it down like it did last time uh, thanks for watching and I'll probably post a few more things as I continue to repair this car